Aloha guys, Scuba Chris here. I'd like to introduce you to my newest arrival. This is the Shimano Katana 3000. Basically, this is the HGFE. This is the model that, would, that premiered last year in 2022. Now, the way that Shimano does the ratings, the HGFD was before this because the FD, you know, D comes before E. So this is the new one, the E. It's just like in the new Stratix right now. Um, you're gonna have the FL, and that was the previous model. And now the M is out, it's a hot demand. And the only difference between the L and the M is that the M has um, tougher gearing in it. So that's why everybody wants that one. But the same thing with this unit here, it went through a change, all right? And it was a good change. This unit here is the next step in its evolution. So this is another budget-minded um, reel. Doesn't mean that it's not good. It is good. That's the reason why I got it. I don't like spending money on things I really don't care much about, right? So it comes with hmm, no bag. There is no bag with this one. It's not in a bag. I know it's a lesser um, price models that way, but you do have your spinning reel manual. Uh, let's see. The reel itself. The parts diagram is on the cover, inside cover. So screw this here to get that handle stiff. There it is. There you go. And as you notice, a lot of the, the newer models here for Shimano, they're not um, drab like the older models were. They're getting a little bit more spark to it. Now, the original model differs slightly from the newer model. Basically, it's, it's what's inside of it, right? So the new model here has the G-free body. That, that means that um, when it's on the rod, a lot of the weight of the unit is transferred towards the stem here, to the upper part. So you're gonna have more control, meaning that the reel itself is gonna feel almost weightless on your wrist. They call it a G-free body. The model's line propulsion system was added, which means that when the line comes off the spool, you notice how the lip here is? See that bevel edge? It comes off in a way that keeps the, the line tight and, and twirly. Twir I know that's not a real good word, but twirly. So what happens is that the line's coming off smoothly, cleanly. You're going to get more distance. And when you get more distance, it means it keeps the line from getting tangled. So as everybody noticed, uh, Shimano is keeping the prices low on their newer models. It's because they're trickling down some of the ad advances from the more expensive models into the lower models but they're not increasing the price. Now, before this, I was um, reviewing the next save. The next save here is basically the same thing as the Katana. Um, you notice that it is, this one has a little bit more brighter blue in it, but this is all blue in the bottom. But um, basically, they're almost the same. They're, they're, there's some slight differences, they're almost the same. Um, but this unit here is the cheaper of the two. Gear ratio. This one here, very high, 6.2 to 1, which means for every one complete revolution, this here will go around 6.2 times. So that gives you an uh, indication of how fast your bait or lure is coming back. This is a high speed retrieval system. Now, if you went up to the 4000 model, that's a 5.8 to 1, so it's a little less on the uh, larger model. Now, max drag on the 3000, this one here is 19 pounds, and you have three plus one ball bearings. So you have three main regular ball bearings and one roller bearing. Right there. Now, the weight of this 3000 unit is only 9.2 ounces, slightly lighter than the previous model. Line per crank. 36 inches. So every one full crank bringing in 36 inches of line. Pretty good. So uh, Power Pro braid ratings, 10 pound test, which I think I'm gonna go with the 10 pound test because I went uh, with the 10 pound test on the next save. So the 10 pound test on this one, I can get 200 yards. 
Now, if I up that to 20 pounds, which is kind of thick, I'm going to get 140 yards. And if I up it again to 40 pounds, great, right, which um, if you're going to do that, you might just get a bigger eel. But if you're going to go up now, if you go up to 40 pounds, 40 pounds is going to be 105 yards. That's a little bit thick. If you're going to, if you need 40 pounds, I would suggest going up to a larger size reel if that's your need. Now for six pound mono, you're going to get um, 230 yards on this. Now you can go from six to eight. It's not much of an increase, but you get 170 yards on it. And 10 pounds, you're going to get 140 yards. That's still almost one and a half football fields, but um, if you want to go mono, depending on the type of fishing you're doing, like if you're in a, in a brook or stream with a lot of sharp rocks around, you may want to go mono over braid. Four sizes. This comes in four sizes. 1,000, 2,500, 3,000, and 4,000. Now, this 3,000 here is called the C3000. C is their, um, the designation for Shimano for deep spool. So this is a deep spool here design, so it hold a little bit more line. So what kind of lining I put on this? Well, I have the the uh, next half here. Now, I'm, I would say I'm going to use the same thing. They're virtually identical. Both of these 3,000 units, the stats are virtually identical. The next so, day, 3,000 uh, virtually identical to the Katana 3,000. I put this on a uh, Magic L by handing. So, and this is a perfect setup here at eight feet. So to make this happen, I'm going to use my Fish On Spooler by Sportsman Innovations. This is great for doing your own work at home. I'm going to be using some. Now spooling it on is the fun part. Amazingly, I got it right down to the last couple feet what I wanted. Spool is spooled. Look at that. Perfectly spooled. Just barely made it. All right.